Hey, what's going on guys? This is Max, and today I'm going to show you how you can download the Game Boy Advance emulator on your iPhone or iPod Touch. First of all, you're going to go into Cydia, and then, unless you want to buy the GPS phone app, which you can by all means, and I actually might because I do like to play it from time to time, um, you can also add the sinful iPhone repo once again. I know I, I advocate this on a lot of my videos, but it is a great, um, great source and it allows you to test out a lot of paid programs before you make the decision on whether you want to buy them or not. Anyways, once you have that in installed, you can uh, just search for GPS phone. As you can see, there's the crack version at the top. The blue um, writing one is the legitimate version. But all you have to do is just install it. Um, it's only a 1.3 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long. And yeah, I'm just waiting for it to install. Alright, now it's just reloading the data. And you can, fortunately, you can just return to Cydia instead of having to respring your um, device. I really don't like it when I have to restart my iPhone all the time. But yeah, anyways, you just want to go back um, to your home screen. And then right there, it'll say GPS phone. <laughs> right there, top, in the top row, yeah. GPS phone right there. And. Okay, now you just want to open up the GPS phone app, and I'll just show you that I don't have any games in here. And as you can see, it just says, says no ROMs found. Would you like to find them? Um, I prefer adding them through my computer, though, so I'll just show you guys how to do that. And it'll also, I'll also show you how to download the BIOS file, which you need in order to play games. So yeah, I'll be right back on my computer. Alright, so we're on my computer now, and what you want to do is connect to your iPhone somehow through a process called SSH and you can do this in many different ways you can do it over Wi-Fi but I prefer to do it with the program called disk aid which is free and this is a USB connection which is beneficial to me because the Wi-Fi here has a firewall but anyway you want to go to private bar mobile media and then you want to create a folder title it ROMs capital R O M lowercase s and then open that folder and create a new folder again that just says GBA, all capital letters. And in that folder um, is where you're going to put your BIOS file as well as your games that you want to install. And that's also where your save files will be if you want to back them up whenever. So one site that you can get these things from is romhustler.net, but there are a bunch of different um, ROM sites that you could use and you want to go to Game Boy Advance because that's the emulator it's a Game Boy Advance emulator and then I'm just gonna I'm just to show you this is Pokemon which I'm sure most of you guys will want because it's probably one of the most popular um, Game Boy Advance games out there and then you just click there to download and then wait for the download link but I actually have a few um, games downloaded already, so I'm not actually going to use this download most likely, but you can just save it wherever. It's in a zip file, so you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that. I have uh, Pokemon Emerald, Fire Red, and then Advanced Wars 1 and 2, as well as this GBA BIOS file, which is uh, a requirement if you want to play on the GPS phone app. You just want to extract all the files and make sure that they are all .gba files, all the games at least. And then you just want to drag them over, however you, uh, or transfer them in some way, over into the GBA folder that you created. And then you're set as far as the computer steps are uh, concerned. So now you just want to go back and look at your iPhone again. So we'll be right back. Alright, so now we're back on the iPhone, and you just want to go back into the GPS phone app. Um, and then as you can see, there's the four games that we installed. You won't see the BIOS file, but it is required if you want to play um, Game Boy Advance games. And then the nice thing about this is that it allows you to play in portrait and landscape with or without sound. So you can technically listen to music in the background or no. And this is just to show you, just testing out Advanced Wars. Um, this app works very well. I might actually buy it fairly soon, um, as soon as I get my next paycheck, that is. 
it's only a few bucks. I think it's it might be four dollars, but I'm not quite sure. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> I know my uh, my little brother and my friends have tried to press on the screen, but it, it is not a touch screen. You can only touch the actual pad itself. So, yeah, um, you can save uh, files. Make sure to do that all the time, or else you will lose your um, games. And you can access your save files over to the right at the bottom. If you see, it says Browse, Reason, and Saves. And you can back them up by copying them from the folder that I, the GBA folder that you guys created before. So that was a tutorial on how you can install GPS Phone. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, have a nice day, guys. See ya.